I'm Damon Hatfield and this is IGN News. According to reports, crisis developer Crytek has been late in paying its staff and there has been an exodus of employees for several months now. However, Crytek claims the reports aren't true. Kotaku reports that employees claim they're working in an unstable environment, with several high-level staff members leaving their studios in Germany and the UK. One employee estimates more than 100 people have left Crytek over the past three months. But the story first came to light after German magazine GameStar reported financial troubles at Crytek, with anonymous sources claiming projects like Rise, Son of Rome for the Xbox One were a quote, disaster for the developer. Employees also claim they've been paid late, sometimes by several months. However, upper management has assured the staff that there will be a fresh infusion of cash soon that should right the ship. Employees are also reportedly concerned that the studio is moving away from AAA titles like Crisis and is self-publishing free-to-play titles like Arena Fate and the recently released Warface. Crytek is also currently developing Homefront The Revolution, a sequel to Homefront, released by THQ in 2011. Deep Silver will publish the sequel. Again, Crytek is currently dismissing these claims as false rumors. We've reached out for comment and we'll update you with any information we receive. Want even more breaking news? Subscribe to our brand new channel, IGN News. We'll bring you updates on everything happening in video games, movies, TV, and tech all day, every day. Subscribe at youtube.com slash IGN News.